This episode of Photonics Hot List is sponsored by Metal Arc Optics, where they take on what others won't. Challenge accepted. Hi, I'm Justine Murphy, Senior Editor of Laser Focus World. Let's take a look at some of the cool things happening in photonics. Imagine how much more comprehensive and interesting it would be to study marine life, or even the Earth itself, if we could actually hear the noises they make. Well, a study led by researchers at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology has shown it's possible with fiber optics. There are more than a million kilometers of fiber optic cable networks around our planet, facilitating internet and data signals and other communications. Using distributed acoustic sensing technology, which enables continuous real-time measurements along the entire length of a fiber optic cable, the researchers have for the first time been able to see and listen to blue and fin whales detected by fiber optic cables along the west coast of Svalbard in Norway, one of Earth's northernmost inhabited regions. Now the team wants to use the fiber optic cable networks to create a real-time ocean earth observatory, which would allow them to monitor not just whales and other marine life, but also storms, earthquakes, and even ships. The networks may also be used someday for lunar applications, since fiber optics could cover longer distances than the seismometers currently used. The currently impossible feat of being able to physically interact with 3D digital characters and objects using augmented reality, or AR, technology may soon no longer be inconceivable. VividQ, a UK-based holographic display technology developer for AR gaming, and Dispolix, a waveguide designer and manufacturer in Finland, are joining forces to develop a waveguide combiner that's capable of accurately displaying 3D content at various depths within a user's environment essentially displaying 3D content in the physical world that users can interact with. Waveguides are ideal for AR technology. They're lightweight and can be used for compact optical components. The new waveguide system offers a truly immersive experience thanks to a large field of view that comprises a large 3D holographic region and a wide 2D area along the display's edge. This all makes for a more comfortable and user-friendly experience, particularly for gamers who use AR technology for long periods of time. VividQ and Dispolix are now forming a commercial partnership to develop their new 3D waveguide technology for mass production. In a huge leap forward, researchers at the University of Pennsylvania have created a hyperdimensional microlaser chip that could become a source in free space quantum key distribution and coherent classical communications like those for satellite to earth or tower to tower. The new microlaser chip communicates through qubits, quantum bits in a state of superposition greater than two levels. The researchers say this doubles the quantum information capacity that's currently possible with on-chip lasers and ultimately boosts the system's strength and security. The micro laser features two identical sized micro ring resonators. Each can hold a clockwise propagating mode and one that is counterclockwise. The system is characterized by three coupled spheres, each with two free parameters similar to Earth's longitude and latitude. Now the team is working to improve the microlaser system by integrating additional on-chip resonators and waveguides, develop an electrical pumped microlaser for use in industrial applications, and ultimately create a mature quantum communication system that's based on the new microlaser chip. And that's your Photonics Hot List. Be sure to like and share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're at Photonics West in San Francisco this week, stop by the Laser Focus World booth, number 3456. We'd love to talk to you. Until next time.